Well-known American actress, screenwriter, and novelist Carrie Frances Fisher was born on 21 October 1956 in Beverly Hills, California, into a show business family of Russian Jewish descent through her father and British through her mother. Carrie Fisher was perhaps best known for her role in the first Star Wars film and for her books, Wishful Drinking and Postcards from the Edge. She passed away in December of 2016. So, just how rich was Carrie Fisher? It is reliably estimated by Celebrity.Money that Carrie's net worth was over $30 million, the main sources of her wealth being her careers as an actress and a writer, which began in the late 1960s. Carrie Fisher's mother was actress Debbie Reynolds, who passed away a week after her daughter, and her father was popular singer Eddie Fisher. So, show business was nothing new for Carrie. She studied at the Beverly Hills High School, but did not matriculate, as she and her mother went touring with a theater company. In 1973, Carrie appeared with her mother in the play called Irene. Then, that same year, she began studying at London's Central School of Speech and Drama. In 1975, Carrie was cast in her first role in a movie called Shampoo with such actors as Tony Bill, Goldie Hawn, Julie Christie, Lee Grant, and others. This was the time when Carrie's net worth began growing. In 1977, Carrie was cast in the role of Princess Leia in the first Star Wars movie, later renamed a Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. This appearance had a huge impact on the growth of Fisher's net worth especially as the movie became so popular all over the world and Carrie became more recognized and acclaimed. Later, she acted in other Star Wars movies and even became something of a sex symbol. During her career, Carrie Fisher appeared in over 40 films and more than 50 TV movies and shows and was nominated for and won such awards as BAFTA, Primetime Emmy, and Saturn, among others. In addition to her success as an actress, in 1987, Fisher published her first book, entitled Postcards from the Edge, which was highly acclaimed. Other books published by Carrie include Surrender the Pink, The Best Awful There Is, Delusions of Grandma, and others. All these books added considerably to Carrie Fisher's net worth. As well as the novels written by Carrie, she was also involved in the writing of plays and screenplays, which also, of course, contributed to that net worth. In talking about Carrie Fisher's personal life, she was briefly married to musician Paul Simon from 1983 to 1984, and is known to have had relationships with such celebrities as Dan Aykroyd, Brian Lord, with whom she has a daughter, Harrison Ford, and James Blunt. Carrie also had problems with drugs, partly through prescription medicine as she suffered from bipolar disorder. Fisher was active right up to her passing. She died on 27 December 2016 in Los Angeles, California, after apparently suffering cardiac arrest on a flight from London.